as much as I wake up on this morning and just want it to be another regular day, I know it's not. Nine years ago today, my dad passed away on an early morning just like this one. On this Valentine's Day, I want to tell everyone that not just because it is a day that's celebrated for love, but on every single day, today, tomorrow, and every day after that, love those who are closest to you. Love your neighbor, love your friends, and even love strangers that you don't know because that's exactly what my father taught me to do. No matter where you're from or what your beliefs are, love is the key that truly brings this world together. My father ended up in a coma fighting a liver disease and every single day I was in the position that you see me in, wondering, will I ever have my dad to ask him for a piece of advice? Will I ever have him there in a moment where I have to make a decision to hear his guidance? And things that I would just take for granted every single day were now in question. And every day got longer and longer and longer. And things that I thought would be there forever now felt so far out of my reach. This moment in my life completely changed my appreciation for life, my understanding for life, and the dynamic of how life changes from one moment to the next. This is a story that I've always wanted to share, but I just never knew how. And I wanna thank one of my dearest friends who said, you've been through so much in your life and you should share your story. You should share what you've been through. And by sharing what you've been through, you can be a positive light to other people that are going through the same thing or that will go through the same thing. So to you, I just wanna say thank you as well. And I think today, I'm ready to share some of the story of my father. So what is up you guys? I wanna thank you all for tuning back into the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different and it's not gonna be very long. But I just wanted to share a story of my father and for all you guys that tune in to, to the channel, I wanna say thank you first and foremost. But maybe you've asked, well where's his dad? It's always his mom, his sister, and him. Is his dad around? Is he not around? What happened? And today's Valentine's Day 2000, and 18. And nine years ago today, my dad passed away on an early morning, just like this one. My father was an absolutely amazing, amazing person. And although I questioned many times, why on Valentine's Day? Why on a day of love? Now forever, my mind will be marked with the day that my father passed away. But if there's something that my father taught me in this life, it was to love people, to love life and appreciate it and to love God above all else. But what he taught me was to love everyone, no matter where they came from or who they were, or even if you found them at their lowest point, to love them and see the best possible person that they could be. And sometimes that was a really hard thing to do, but if there was someone who did it, I know it was definitely him. And that's something that he left in me, that we may not have all the money in the world or all the power in the world, but to treat somebody with respect, to treat them kindly, to treat them with love, he allowed me to understand that love was the key that brought this world together. And when my dad passed away, he was fighting a liver disease. But at the time, although we knew he was sick, we never expected him to pass away so early. It was something that happened unexpectedly. I was only 16 years old. My sister was five years old. My mother left a widowed woman. Not only did we lose a father, but we lost a pastor. My dad was also the pastor of a church and my mom in all her courage was not only the mother that she had been but now she became a father and became a pastor and i'm forever indebted to my mom for the courage that she has shown myself and my sister the journey has not been easy but nine years later on 2018 i remember my dad and we're still here and my father was an absolutely amazing amazing person and although people say that time heals all things, there's just some things that you can never let go. Some people that you will never forget, some circumstances that will always be with you. But what I wanna tell you is that if you've lost a loved one, whether it be a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a great friend, whoever it may be, someone that was near and dear to your heart, let us live our life in a way that will forever allow their legacy to be remembered, that will forever allow their name to be respected. And that's how I try to live every single day, to keep my father's name on high for everything he taught me for the young man that I know he wanted me to be. And hopefully I can even uh, excel past 
the person that he wanted me to be and reach the highest level and, and hopefully make him proud in every single way and in everything that I set forth to accomplish in life. I wanna tell you if you've lost a loved one, to be strong, to trust the process. And with me, I've, I've been able to trust God through all of this and God has never failed me and never failed my family. But continue to push forward, continue to move on. And no matter what you see on a camera just like this one or what you see on social media or what you see on, on, on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook, those are just parts of people's lives but it's not the whole story. And that's why I just wanted to be transparent with you guys in this moment to let you know that I've definitely gone through some difficulties and this is just an overview of this story because I wanted to share it with you guys. There's a lot more things that, that are involved through the years and things that have happened and struggles that we've overcome. But I just wanna let you know that if I've been able to, to overcome, that you guys can also overcome no matter what you're going through. I love you guys and, and uh, you know, I'm, no matter how many years go by, I'll never forget my dad. I love you guys. Uh, stay strong. Continue moving forward.